There you go, the high-tech gadgetry, the Rue Lane, operated for your viewing pleasure and your entertainment pleasure when you come out to bowl in this particular BPA center. Look right back on him to open up this match against David Kidney, first time on TV. And a house fan. Yeah, by that we mean. He bowls in this particular house and uh, 36 years old, 5'10", 145 pounds, my kind of guy. He, uh, 31 years old, like I said, averaging 215 is his high average and 206 is his low. get up there and throw the ball. Highest game ever bowled, 300. Not all bad. Nor is the 8-12 series he posted. Uh, bowling three times a week helps. And uh, for this particular day, he's throwing a fab ball. Actually a hammer, which is one of the most popular pieces of equipment around town right now. Looks good again, Jen. Wow. Solid 10. The, the more direct line you're going to get that unless you have a super hard forward roll. David's ball a little bit too much side roll for as quickly or as uh, directly as he's playing. Switching off now, as you can tell, to a harder ball, also a hammer, a red pearl, designed not to grab the lane as much. It is a, uh, it's a ball used on uh, conditions that would uh, ordinarily let the other ball hook too much and it just doesn't grab as much and it worked out quite well there. And this being David's first time on TV starting off with two pocket shots in a row, two very good shots leaving the temp in and making it should loosen him up well. Whoa, Nick got way out on the lane on that shot. By that I mean he got almost to the first board. Not, not really where he wants to be. But the way you crank the ball like Nick, you can create area like that. And bringing back his spare, 24-year-old Nick Vogelsang, averaging 225. He qualified with a 734, and uh, hers bowls out of Durban Bowl. That's our uh, people down in the uh, uh, thriving metropolis of uh, Lawrenceburg. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my, he does, does so well with this release. Watch the cupped reaction around the ball. deflecting there, missing the five pin, and uh, actually a messenger pin taking it out late. In order for David, the kid, to be in this match, he's going to have to make a little line change more to the right and utilize the drier area of the lane. Take a look here, if you would, the release being pretty simple, very direct. Watch him come from underneath the ball and straight around the side. A nice clean roll. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice clean roll, but when you do that, you have to learn where that ball fits the lane condition. And be accurate, and be which accurate. I'm sure David is. Yeah, it, it appears to be, especially shooting in 800 and 300 scores. But if you guess, there you go. There you go. If, you, if you're playing the lanes in the wrong position, I don't care how good a shot you're going to throw, you're not going to have it. Take a look at this, a cleaner shot, a little heavier roll, and this ball going out to about the 10th board, and then just hacksawing the five out of there. Nick, as you can see, covers a few more boards. Local Sang plus 11 at this particular point. Again, early on in the match, the uh, lower third. Glenn Schmidt would like to convey to all of you at home that he's got a new tournament going on. It's the Holly Lanes Tournament. 
and that is at Holly Lane on April 13th, 14th, 20th, and 21st. Yeah, right. Wow, solid, solid, solid eight. The same eight that we saw in match number one, and he's obviously distraught by it, wondering what he can do. Now watch the ball cut through the one pin right there, and now the five pin going straight back, which normally takes out the eight, does not do its job, the eight pin. The culprit. And easily taking it out. And if you would, Jen, we're going to be taking a look at a few of these fine BPA houses around the greater Cincinnati area where they make bowling more fun. All right. They are great establishments indeed. Cole Rain Bowl, Crossgate, Del Fair Lanes and Del High, Durban Bowl and Lawrenceburg, Eastgate, Glenmore, Glen Smith in Kentucky, Green Hill, Harrison, Hines, and Holland. City Seven Hills lies one of the West's favorite entertainment centers, Western Bowl, where in January the Hoinkie Classic began another year of competitive tournament bowling. Since 1975, over one million dollars in prize money has been awarded each year to men and women bowlers. Additional early bird prizes are paid to winners during the first six weeks of the Hoinkie Classic, the world's largest handicap tournament. Share in the excitement. Western Bowl on Glenway Avenue, Western Hills. Schiller Ford in Harrison, Ohio. Hamilton County's newest Ford dealer is located only six minutes west of I-275 and I-74. Ford Escort, starting at $69.99. Ford Escort, all new and priced hundreds less than Civic or Corolla. Ford Ranger, only $69.99. Gets better gas mileage than Chevy or Toyota. Schiller Ford in Harrison, Ohio. Drive to the west and save the best. Guaranteed. Competitors know that it takes power to score. Power in your approach. Power in your equipment. Witness the devastating results of premium urethane charged with a secret additive. And explosive high energy impact for better corner carry. Even arc. More a hook. The perfectly matched two-piece ball. The U2 from Columbia 300. Once again in the fifth frame. Dave Kidney bowls out of uh, LaRue Lane. 
and uh, he's, oh, I don't know, 207 uh, Division Number 3 lives in Bellevue, Kentucky, so he lives on this side of the river, and for, uh, started bowling back in 19... mixer he trusts it head pin's going to go lightly to the left hand wall come off slap into the four and into the five and the seven out and right, this game, trust I, which was it a mac or a semi <laughs> I, I, it was big whatever it was just a certain point in the lane and you can almost tell where the ball comes off the oil now what i mean by off the oil is the lanes are dressed with a light type of machine oil to cut down on the abrasion on the wood and the surface. Nick Vogel saying 10 pins up going into this frame and he tends to build on that. He, luckily he didn't hit it with his normal aggressive release or he might have left another solid uh, nine or something in there because that was shot. <laughs> Don't hit yourself, Nick. Pepsi, there you see it right behind him. Another one of our proud sponsors. The choice of the new generation, I must uh, say. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I love that B-54. Oh, there he goes. The crowd's behind him. David, at this point, is just, he's locked into the light shaker. The light shaker is what he needs, and he's going to play it to the hill. There you see the ball not rolling off sharply like Nick, but getting the good pin action. And if it ain't broke, don't, don't fix. fix it. That's right. Toad's, Toad's play is working on a double. 10 10. Looks good. Oh, this match is all tied up. The house bowler, the kid, Dave Kidney, is giving Nick Vogelson, a veteran on television, all he can handle. Oh, now that's in a little bit, but it's going to catch the oil and strike anyhow. He has got some area. He is really surprised, Jennifer, and rightly so. He pulls this ball. Remember, the ball has generally been going out to about the three board. Now watch this. The furthest this ball ever gets out is about nine, and it holds up, takes a little off the ball, and just stones the pins backwards, almost a solid seven. Dave Kidney watching on not really affected by the shot, knows what he has to do, and his job is to continue to strike, because Nick will continue to strike the only fault in Nick's game that's come up year after year is the fact that he will miss a spare in the most inopportune places. Well, he's already got the ninth frame posted, and that's one of the most important, so he's got one important frame out of the way. David's going to need a strike here to keep it all tied up. I tell you what, this, this man is not short on guts and talent and 10 pins behind at this point. If he strikes, David Kidney will actually look at a low angle release. Again, simplicity, but consistency. You don't have to throw the ball like Nick Vogel saying to score well. Ten in a pit, and this, the all-important tenth frame. Nick looking on, wondering what he has to do to intimidate this guy. Not really working. Kidney striking out his potential at this point. 249. 249 would be the potential. Now Nick can better that, but with this next shot, Dave Kidney is going to force Nick Vogelstein to match the first two strikes in the tent. It's close. It's close. No, he didn't quite get the roll on it that he wanted, and the pin count can be very, very important. 2458, the bucket. Still go out for 255. Yes.
haven't really seen David's fair shooting ability. Let's see how he chooses to shoot this. Double dribbles. We're not going to call a penalty on that because he does, in fact, bring it back. There you see some of his rooters being a house bowler. Congratulating him for a very, very fine showing. Nick Vogelsang's job to strike right here. Got to have it. Well, let's see. Nine's going to give him 199, 198 in the eighth. Nick's looking up at the sheet as is the opponent, Dave Kidney. Seven pins. He's going to need a strike or a spare here and seven. Yeah, he says, I got the spare that time. <laughs> It's, it's amazing that when you have to get it, how heavy that ball can get. At this, at this point, Nick's potential, if he strikes, would be 238. David Kidney is already in with 235. That's a winner. Excellent, excellent match. Great match play shooting. Nick Vogelstang. 238. David Kidney, 235. What a great match. Three pins, and that's what we're looking at. Match play. Competition.